there's one question on everyone's mind. Where is the vaccine and when will it be developed? Unfortunately, not as soon as you'd like it to be. And here's why. The vaccine will definitely take a longer time to develop. It's not going to develop in weeks. It actually takes several years sometimes. But in this case, they are trying to hasten the process by taking a number of steps to recruit people very quickly. But still, with all that speed, you can recruit people fast, but the body's immunological reaction cannot be speeded up. Now, the process of developing a vaccine is extremely meticulous and goes through different phases. I do not believe a new vaccine has ever been developed uh, before in less than five years. Uh, it's a long process, it's a rigorous process. So typically we identify the target, uh, the vaccine target, and then we go into what's known as preclinical studies. So these are studies that are done uh, in animals, in the laboratory, uh, before we do human studies. If we are happy with the results of these studies, uh, then we apply uh, for regulatory approval and then we go into three phases of studies, phase one, phase two, phase three. So phase one studies are in a small number of uh, healthy volunteers. Uh, we are essentially looking at the safety profile uh, of the vaccine. We're looking at different doses. Uh, do they cause side effects? Uh, how does the immune, res uh, immune system respond to uh, different doses? In phase two, uh, once phase one are done and we're happy with the results, we move into phase two. Uh, and in phase two, it's a few hundred people. Here, we're looking at uh, how the immune system responds. What's the immunogenicity of the vaccine? And then, of course, also for side effects. And if we're happy with phase two, then we can move into phase three, uh, where it's in thousands of uh, volunteers. And here, we're looking at whether the vaccine actually protects people uh, from the virus and this or from whatever the infective organism is. And this typically takes much longer because we have to wait for people uh, to get infected in their natural environment and see if uh, you know people who are vaccinated get infected uh, less often than people who are not vaccinated. Of course, then you have to scale up manufacturing, administer these doses, it's a long process. Once the vaccine is administered during the trial phases, one needs to give it time to monitor its reactions. At any stage, if the trial shows that the vaccine does not perform well, then the other phases aren't performed. We actually judge three things from a vaccine that we want. First is what is the efficacy of the vaccine in preventing an infection. Second is what is the safety of the vaccine in preventing complications of the vaccine itself. I mean, is it safe enough or will there be adverse effects? Third, we also want to know about the duration of the protective effect. Is it going to disappear in a month or two or is it going to last for several months? For several years. We always do a risk-benefit analysis. So what is the risk of an adverse event? Uh, what is the risk of not uh, releasing this vaccine? Uh, what are the benefits of releasing the vaccine? And we have to do that analysis. As scientists are fast-tracking the process of developing the vaccine, and rightly so, this leads to the overlapping of various steps. Uh, what manufacturers are doing is they're operating in parallel, like they're operating in parallel with overlapping steps. So what might happen is you might have animal studies and phase one studies going on at the same time. Phase two and phase three might start at the same time. And many times they start like uh, the Serum Institute has done. They start manufacturing stockpiles of the vaccine even before it's gone through all uh, steps of the study. One of the things that's being done is AI is being used uh, to model some of these effects. How vaccines are going to respond in different groups because different groups, uh, for example, different racial groups can have a slightly different immune system. So it's important we test it in all these groups. The elderly and the young can have a slightly different immune response. So it's important we test it in all of them. A lot of technologies are being used to accelerate this process right now. Three different countries are adopting different strategies. We can only hope that they will be sharing the knowledge at some stage so that everybody can share the benefits of a vaccine. Even if there is some competition, because sometimes the techniques of vaccine development may be different. Different people can try different techniques. But ultimately, they should not lock up the knowledge for commercial purposes and exploit the people to the disadvantage of the whole world.